we celebrated creative collaborations with Edith Steffen on her birthday on April 2nd, 2022. Edith would have celebrated her 103rd birthday with us today. Susan Wells helped set up all the displays and Manuel Martinez not only did the heavy lifting, setting up chairs and tables, but was in charge of all the technology to make sure everything worked. And he was very successful. I invited people to share their stories about how they met Edith and the effect she had on them. And the first people I invited to speak was her niece, Susan Graziano, and her partner, Tim. Susan shared with us the enormous influence her Bohemian aunt had on her from her early childhood, growing up in a traditional Jewish family in Queens. Don Pollock, Edith's favorite human, uh, told us the story of how he met Edith on a bus, Crosstown 14th Street bus, and they began talking, and they didn't stop talking for 14 years. Karen Santry shared her story with us that Edith asked her and her friend Paul Moriani to work on costumes and props for her performance of the Dance of the Shells of the Angel Oranjes uh, Foundation uh, Synagogue in the East Village. And they went to Fulton Street and purchased uh, real fishing nets that they uh, decorated the entire inside of the space with. And that she later worked with Edith on her um, film with sculptures by uh, Chandler of uh, huge sea shells that the dancers actually were in and danced, emerged dancing. Lily Rivlin, a well-known filmmaker, uh, talked about how Edith inspired her uh, with her amazing uh, positive attitude, her energy uh, and enthusiasm, and she talked about how she really missed her. I talked about how I first became close friends with Edith. As gallery director at West Beth, I initiated exhibits that were uh, often in collaboration uh, with uh, performing arts, writers, poets, musicians, dancers uh, on a particular theme. Uh, one year I did a show based on art and technology and Edith came in with her dance company and performed an amazing dance, a part of our outdoor video grill that we, we had outdoor video installations. And she had her dancers dancing inside a huge translucent tube uh, about 20 feet long, maybe longer, 40 feet, where she um, had an amazing combination of uh, light effects, sound effects, various props, music, lighting, it was truly extraordinary, and it was a total showstopper. From then on, Edith and I began collaborating on events in the gallery, and then later, I began collaborating on her with her films. I showed my latest film, which was uh, based on an amazing interview by Lawrence James of Edith that he called from Buffalo to Brooklyn. It was full of lots of new information, a very candid insight into Edith's personality, her ideas, her thinking, and her amazing sense of humor. Jesse Katzowitz, Edith's lawyer friend, read his poignant and powerful poem about Edith, along with a statement sent in from Australia by Trevor Hull, who became close friends with Edith and Peter Tomas on his visit to New York City. Austin Alexis read his wonderful poem from his book of poetry that Edith inspired him to uh, publish. She was a big fan of his poetry. 
and his poem was wonderful. Penny Jones showed her amazing collage that she did of Edith smiling that was submitted for a show on smiles um, that almost went to a vault in Poland, but Penny managed to rescue it and save it for Edith. My daughter and her children, who have all known Edith since they were born, were planning to come and do a creative tribute to her, but it turns out my daughter uh, was very sick with COVID, so fortunately she did not come. But they sent in a video of Aria doing creative cartwheels and free dance while Nadal played Beethoven. All in all, it was a very successful event. And at the end, uh, after seeing film clips and photos of Edith, at the end, Susan Wells led us all in a beautiful dance to Vivaldi, where we um, got up and danced with her and danced with Edith, who was there in spirit. Here's Susan dancing with Mark Roth um, in his walker. I'm sending this to all of you with love, and now, unfortunately, also with pneumonia. <laughs>